to down with Syntex, and today we're going to go over locators in Selenium. So first things first, as we always mention, please go ahead and watch previous videos. We do build upon the next, so uh, watching previous videos will make this lesson a little bit easier to understand and digest. Um, as well, here we go. Um, this is going to be about locators again, and this is going to be part one of two part videos. So let's go ahead and get started about locators in Selenium. We see here that we have eight different locators. Now, what do these locators mean? Why is it necessary that we need them? All right. So let's say I'm at work and this is my application for work. Um, now, this is just a practice website that we can use to practice our automation skills. Now, let's say I wanted to test this full name text box here. I wanted to make sure with my automation that I can type something in. Now, everything we see here on this web page, whether it be the text box that I was just talking about, maybe this text box, these ones, maybe it's this button or this picture or maybe these options over here, this word text box, it doesn't matter. Whatever, anything we see here within a web page, within our web application, these, all these things are web elements. And we can find these web elements in our HTML DOM. Now, how we do that is by right clicking and selecting the option that says inspect. Now, if it kind of depends on what browser we're using. I'm using Chrome. Uh, if we're using Firefox, uh, IE, Safari, you might see something that says maybe just element or inspect element. We see here that this one just says inspect. Uh, we can go ahead and select that option and you'll see this bar here, this little kind of black and all this code here. This is HTML code. This is called our DOM, and we see it's under the Elements tab here within our developer tools. Um, another way we can get here is if we select the F12, the function key. If I press that function key, we see here that we have this pop up as well. Uh, remind me later. All right. So now let's say I want to work with this web element, full name text box. How do I do it, right? How, how does my driver know to send the commands to the browser and let it know that this is what I want to work with? Well, we have to go ahead and locate it, right? Which is why these locators come in handy. Now how we can locate them is by one of eight options. We're going to go over six today. And then the last two here, we're going to go over in another video. Now we have by ID, class name, name, tag name, link text, and partial link text. So let's go over that. So if I want to work with, again, this text box here, and by text box, it just means that it's an area in which I can type. Um, and we'll go over kind of different... Um, web elements in the future and there's plenty of them but this is one of them called text box now if I wanted to l use this one and get a locator for it what I would do is select this option here it looks like a little square icon uh, with an arrow if you can see it right here I'm going to select that and what this allows me to do is hover over the page and go over any web element I want now I want this text box. So now you see here in my HTML DOM, it brought me to where my text box is. And you can see here that it's it was highlighted. When I clicked over here, it highlighted over here in my DOM and brought me to exactly where this web element is. In all that mess of code, it brought me exactly where I need to here. Now, also guys, you guys might know, uh, if, if depending on upon your browser, the way you guys have it set up, um, I, I like mine down here, my developer tools on the bottom of the page. If you guys have it on the right hand side, you can easily uh, change that as well in your options. Uh, but I like mine over here at the bottom. So let's go over here, let's show you. So we have input. If we see here all these blue options, all these, it says div, we see input, we see this one says form. All these are called tags. Okay, so if I wanted to locate 
a particular element, I can look for it by its tag name, right? That's one of those locators, by tag name. And we see here that the tag name that I want to work with is input, that's my field. Now, we typically don't use tag name to locate one single element, um, because if we notice here, if I go to another text box, you see here the tag name is also input. And we'll go over this in a future video. Um, but we want to go ahead and use something that's unique to what we want to work with, right? So I want to work with this text box here. Okay, so I'm going to highlight over here. So again, I just showed you tag name. I can locate by tag name, which is right here. These are tags. So I can say by tag name, uh, input. And what I mean by saying by tag name, I keep saying by, the word by. What that is, is when we use something, we do, <clears throat> we use our driver, right? So I'm gonna say driver dot find element. Now we have find element and find elements. We're gonna go over that again in another video. Uh, we, we try to kind of make things as simple as possible and do one subject at a time. So for right now, we're going to do find element, not find elements. Now what this is doing is telling my driver to find one particular element. Now that one element I want to find, I need to use a locator. So as I mentioned, I can do, type in the word by, I want to find it by and then you see here that we have tag name as an option. So I want to find it by way of tag name. So if I did by tag name and then I typed in input, well, there we go. I have it by tag name and then it would go and find and collect my element well, not collect with this one. Uh, if I had find elements, again, that's a, it's another story. But you see here that that's one locator, tag name. Okay? So, if I wanted to, let's say, use any other locator. Let's see what we got. We went over tag name. So, let's see. We have... We can see here that we have ID. And its ID is username. We also see that we have by class, and that's also by class name here. So we our class is this option here, this mr you know, hyphen sm. This option here is by our class name. Now let's see if we can if we had we have name. Let me see if I can find name for you guys. Um, actually, let me go here for you. This is another web element, and we'll go over these in a future video. But we can see here that we see name. Do you see this right here? This says name. That's also another locator by name. So we saw by ID, by class name, by name, by tag name. Okay? So what I wanted to do, I'm back here in the text box. If I want to locate this element, again, I told you I want to use something that's unique. And I want to, let's say we use ID. So if we're going to use my ID locator, we see its value is username. Okay. So I'm going to copy this. And then let's say I'm going to go to, let's say, by... See here it says by ID and I'm going to paste the value of ID here. There we go. Get rid of this little extra ID here. Oh, there we go. So now we got by ID right here. So again, how we can find that, and I'll, I'll, I'll do it all out in one shot. Driver dot find element by dot ID. And then we go ahead and put our ID here. And we can 
close the statement there if we wanted to okay so those are the locators guys those are a couple of them right those are the first four again we have ID we have class which is by class name we went ahead and showed you our tags our tag name and then when I went over to this section over here and looked at this web element we saw that this web element has something called a name and that is by name now these are all attributes if we see here that this has a type that's an attribute so these are all different attributes but selenium allows us to they, they allow us to find them by select options that has written code for us we don't have to do anything extra so this is the ones that it allows us to use um, without writing any extra code or going out of the way um, we have the ID we have the name we have class and we have tag name all right so let's let's do a quick example um, let's say I want to go to that text box and I want to type in my username maybe hello so I went ahead I have my path to where that text box is and that path is just the URL to where we just were over our text boxes okay so I just copied that URL and it pasted here's my path and you guys know all this we, we've done this before um, and then I went ahead and located my element and now this is something a little bit ahead of time but I'm just going to show you something cool um, we could do something called send keys and I'm going to type in hello so what this should do is should go to that text box find that one that I wanted the one that had the full name here this full name field and it should type in hello and I did it by one of my locators ID I could also do it as again by my class name we see that my class was available here as well but let's go ahead and run this and there it goes and it typed in hello for me so it went to this page it located my web element for me by the locator of ID and then I just gave it some extra code just so you could see something happening in here and it typed in hello for me now there's two other locators that I want to go over it's link text and partial link text now what that is let's go over to this link section we see here this highlighted in blue these are links right so if I click this it should navigate me somewhere else right so I'm gonna go back this these ones will open up a new tab uh, these ones will don't worry about what this is all doing but just know if I click these it is linked to somewhere right so I can do inspect here and we have the two other options let's say home we have the two options of link text and partial link text now link text means this we see here that it has a tag name of a but we also see that it has a um, URL written here anytime there's a link with a URL it'll be written and have a tag name of a just a kind of a side note something to kind of keep uh, back in your mind if there's a link it most likely will be under the tag name of a and you see it written here the URL now if you see this word right here it says a home right here that's kind of in between our two brackets our a brackets right our a tags you see here that it has the text home now if I want to find this link and use this link I can do it by its link text and this word home is the link text now partial link text is simply just that I don't need to do the entire thing here I can do maybe just me and it should find it now obviously maybe if this was a few different words I was most likely use maybe just home as a partial link text and I'll, but I'll show you an example here so 
we see here that it's home as my link text. Let's go ahead and copy. Let's go here to my code. I'm going to put the path to the links. I'm, that's where we're going to navigate to. OK. And we saw that it was hello with a capital H if I do remember. Yes, it is. But we'll just copy it just to be sure. We don't want to mess nothing up, right? So I want to find my element. We'll start this all over. I want to say driver dot find element by, and I want to do it by link text. So I'm selecting that option. Now I am going to type in, well, I'll just go ahead and paste it as we copied it. It was home. And what I want to do with that link, I, I want to click it. So I'm going to do dot click. And we're going to go over these methods in another video. But I just want to get the idea of these locators, right? How we can find a particular web element. All right. So we see here that I have found it by its link text and its home. So if I hit run, what should happen is it should go to that links page and click on the home link because it found it by its link text. So let's go ahead and save and hit run. Here we go. Selected home and then we see the new tab of home opening up. Well, that's great. Now let's show you by partial link text. I'll get rid of this just to show you again. If I did driver dot find element by and this time we're going to do partial link text and then I'm going to paste home. That's what the entire link was, correct? Well, let's say I just want to use a part of that. I wanted to find it by a part of it. So let's say I'll do maybe ME. I can do dot click. Now again, um, this is an example where we can just do a piece of that link text, which is partial link text, and, and it should be able to find it. Now, obviously, um, we wouldn't necessarily do this um, by you know taking in half. I'm going to show you an example. Uh, it might be best if there, maybe this was a situation if the link was home is happy. Maybe that was the entire link. We didn't want this whole thing. We just wanted the home. That would work. But in this instance, we know home is the entire link text. So we're only going to need a part of it just for this example. So now you see, I took away the two letters there. And now I have just partial, I have just a piece of the link text. So what it should do is it should go ahead to that link page. And it should find my link that I want to by just the piece of text that I have here because I'm using partial link text. So let's go ahead and run. And there we saw, we, it went ahead and clicked the link and it opened up a new browser for me, a new tab, uh, which is what that link was supposed to do. So guys, again, what we have here is locators are just ways of identifying these web elements. And web elements, again, are just items and, and things that we see here on this web page, right? So if I wanna locate something, I want my driver to go ahead and send commands give a set of instructions to the browser, we need to be able to tell the browser what exact web element we want to work with. And again, we do that by locators. We saw that we have all these different attributes that we can use, right? We have our ID, we have class name, name, and tag name. We saw where they are, where you can find them, and we saw the difference between link text and partial link text. Well, guys, that's how you use uh, those locators and I will be having a video come out very shortly um, go ahead and watch we're gonna have it for the CSS selector and XPath it's a little bit more complicated than the rest of these uh, but it's pretty simple once you guys practice and get the hang of it um, and I highly suggest you learn these as well it is a very useful tool uh, when you're in the testing field alright guys well, that's it for me happy coding and stay tuned for the next one bye